Hey guys, welcome back to more Sangfoot Tale of Werewolves. We are loading in to day eight here. Okay, we get a little bit more story here. So first couple minutes will be story, and then we will move on. Since it was founded in 1848, the village of Wolvesvale has always been led by two hardheads: the mayor Napoleon Rabudus, Rabudu, I think it's Rabudu, and the parish priest Eleanor Chiazon. The local economy, based on lumbering without ever being prosperous, has still permitted the population to grow to almost 400 souls. The atmosphere has, however, grown a lot tenser in the past few days since Josephine O'Carroll, who many now call the Irish Witch, supposedly set fire to the church for obscure reasons. Well, hello to my saviors! Lord Almighty! What's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half-eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontagne. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. So we get our first trip into Wolvesvale. Say, sister, I don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontagne in the village. My little sister's very sick and I was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. The church is in the background there. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch, and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me? Ah, uh, I'm all yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So here guys, we unlock a new thing. This is the blessing screen. So at the convert, you can bless your weapons and bolts increase their effective as diabol creatures. Um, what I found is, oh, it's going to make us plus one of our bolts just for things. That the blessing is kind of expensive, and it's doesn't you try you're trying to upgrade your weapons and get better weapons. So um, a little blessing bolts is good, as it says. Um, I can bless this item for you if you wish. Only the conditions that you use to defend the cause of God. Bless weapons cause more damage to diabolical creatures such as werewolves and willowists, but work like normal against other types of creatures. So. I find it's more effective to use traps and stuff to kill werewolves, werewisps, and the more difficult to kill stuff rather than holy bullets because they are a little bit more expensive. And they don't root them. Like the wolf trap costs 10 cents as well, but it actually roots the target. So, um, we could bless our weapon here, but we're actually going to get a new weapon here shortly. And a dollar is a lot of money in this game. Welcome to the village of Wolvesville. Turn to your shop, just click on the building. To return to your house, click on the road. So we got a couple places we can go here. Um, so we'll go to the Black Mist last. I'll just kind of show you everything. So hotel is where you can buy your potions and other goodies that you can just buy and sell. Yeah. So like we could sell that for seven cents, or we could buy it for fifteen cents. I don't think we really need anything. We can only sell this old Pinax for a cent. So we may as well keep it. So I've already been to the convert. There's the general store. So he has a full wolf for vest, protects 1 HP per hit. Uh, Hawking Rocky Mountain Rifle and bullets. 
which are one cent. So we will buy some bullets. These are silver bolts, by the way. And over at blacksmith, we can. So we got the G Kabalu White Coal Broad Axe, that's made by G White Axe Co. has a long iron Canadian style head and is mainly used to chop up and square trees that have been chopped down. It's skill for hands, it can be transformed into a death. Dating weapon thanks to its reinforced steel edge, but short or cannon and its relatively poor balance make it a temperamental weapon. So as you see the range of agility is low compared to our old pine axe, which has a much higher range. This is more like a hatchet if you're thinking of axes. So but what we're gonna buy here is the Forest Queen Felling Axe. The Forest Queen Michigan Head Axe with Forced with Steel is made in Upper Canada by the Dunders Axe Factory. It is one of the most popular felling axes. Its 4 pound head has a nice counterweight to give it a good balance, and its straight ash haft presides with impressive reefs. While it's not top of the line product, it's simple, reliable, durable axe. So if you look at it, it has the same range as our current axe, but more agility and way more damage. So that's the first thing, in my opinion, I think we should buy, always, when you start up the game. Um, so we cannot afford that gun, um, I don't know if I'd buy it really anyway because I'm sure there'll be another gun we can purchase later on. I would like to buy the for Wolf Fest, but um, given the new abundance of wolves for region, it goes without saying that fur this animals become more and more common in shops. The wolf hide coats are in addition thick enough to protect the wear with a bit of minor damage. So if we had a dollar I'd buy that. I actually if you wouldn't have bought as many bullets, I could have bought the, this rifle, but um, yeah, it just has more discretion. Since their introduction in 1975, the Blown Best muskets are very popular throughout the British Empire for their reliability and firepower. That said, their smooth bore barrels and their flintlock mechanism means they're no match for the Axiom's fire speed and more modern weapons. But this is uh, the choice of rifle for hunters, trappers through Northern America, the Rocky Mountain hunting, or Hawkin Rocky Mountain. Stands out among muskets for its remarkable range, axe provided by the seven grooves in its barrel. On the downside, its flick lock fire maximum is outdated, and round balls have tendency to jam in the barrel after firing self rows in succession, which slows reloading. So, if you see the reloading, is it's about the same, but it has much more range, which would be good, but nothing I can do for it now. Ooh, I said, can I sell? Oh, I can sell bolts back. Do I want to buy that rifle though? Yeah, I think the upgraded range will be useful. We will buy it. And I can sell it back for half that amount. Yeah. This item has no value yet. Yeah, we'll buy it. I thought it was a dollar and 75 cents. So now the church and the mayor are closed, so we'll just return to our house. Talk. Oh. Yes, let's hear about the bait. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. useful. Okay, we'll buy it any time. So wave, only one wave here looks like. We got a werewolf, we got a wolf, and we got... Oh! Bait's free! Awesome! Let's go in there. I'm not sure if I can 
let's try another cast him up over here. See if I can get that a little bit more do it. Yeah, it seems better. I'm gonna put a bonfire down there. Oh, I can put a one down there. Okay, so I will put a second one here just in case he gets away. So I should have the two werewolves and the three wolves from here to deal with. And that's all my energy. So. Yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, we will start tonight. Oh, yeah, because now we can. Want to change what I'm equipped with. There we go. Take that with us. Also, just kind of curious. This, no, that doesn't affect our fear mass. Or, okay, neither of these weapons affect our fear factor. So, that's fine. Looks like we have a new skill. Our last skill was Bloodthirst. A little bonus speed by 20%. Increase the accuracy. Blade points are good. Yeah, let's get that. If we can get two raise points. Perfect. Start the night. The only thing I need to know is how to load blessed light mountains in. Oh there you go, mouse wheel is like a pull you want to suit. Perfect. eating that bait. Hopefully they don't hear me. God. Yeah, eat that bait, my friend. Oop. Okay, they're moving on to the second bait, those wolves. I can... Reload quick enough? Ah, no. Let's yell. Spawn of Satan! Man, that rage is really good. That's fine. I can easily take care of these wolves with the axe. Didn't need to use a bullet on them. Is there another wolf? Or is that just... Not everything. Yeah. Very easily completed that day. Have got damaged at all. We did gold in there. I 
But anyway guys, I'm going to end the episode here, and we will be back in the next one for more Sang Thanks guys. Later.